Now we've reached the summit of Blencathra, it's time to descend Hallsfell Ridge. Hallsfell Ridge is an iconic ridge route up or down Blencathra. If you're going up Hallsfell Ridge, the upper crest is classed as a Grade 1 scramble. You have to be cautious though because underfoot is slate rock and when it gets wet it can be very slippy. As you can see coming off the main path there's lots of little windy paths but they all lead to the same way. The great thing about going down Hallsfell Ridge is the incredible views you have in front of you. To our left there's also two other routes down. They're called Doddick Fell and Scale Fell. And to our right, we've got Blease Fell, which takes you down to the Blencathra Centre. The GoPro doesn't quite show how steep some of these little bits are on the way down. But as you can imagine, like I just said, it's a grade one scramble on the upper crest. So you can imagine they are quite steep. Another great thing about going down Hallsfell Ridge is there's so many little paths coming off the main path, no two walks will be the same. You can also make your walk as easy or as difficult as you want. You can walk over the top of the rocks or you can go for the easier paths that most people go for. I'd say descending Hallsfell Ridge would probably be best done on a dry day. I'm using a Solomon Trail Trainer and they're sticking to the rocks incredibly.
it's always good to have a look behind and see what you've come down. And the views of the ridge on a clear day are amazing. You've actually got four paths here, one to the left of me, and you've got these three here. They all lead to the same place. Here you have incredible views looking over to Thermere and Derwent Water. If you're after incredible views, this walk is a must on a clear day. So now we're not actually too far from the bottom. And when we do get to the bottom, I'm gonna show you how to get to the A66 again. More incredible views there of Clough Head and looking over to the Western Fells. Cheers. 
So once you've got to the bottom of the path, you'll see that gate on the left and go through that gate and you'll end up walking down here. There's another gate just up ahead, which is this one here. And it seems to bring you out to a, like a large farm. Following the sign that says footpath, you'll walk past these buildings here and you seem to hear a lot of barking from dogs here. Follow this road all the way to the end. And then when you get to the end, follow the road round left. And eventually it leads to a gate. Once you've made it to the gates, go through. There shouldn't be any cars on this road. Now, if you just keep following it, it will eventually take you to the A66. And there you are, just through this gate here, this leads to the A66.